Okay, I'm going to give you some troubleshooting tips. Um, this first one is the one that works 99% of the time. Most of the time, you know how electronics are, they get kind of wonky, they do weird stuff, um, they freeze up or um, you get that black screen and nothing will happen. Um, this is a very simple thing that you can do and most of the time it stops your, it solves your problem. So first, um, I, I let me say, always go to quit to exit Cody if you can. Otherwise, it can cause weird things to happen. Um, sometimes when you hit quit, it takes a while for it to turn off. So you have to be patient. Um, that was actually really fast. Sometimes it's really slow. <laughs> um, so just be patient. Um, once you have gotten out of Cody, uh, scroll down on your main screen to settings. Um, this is on the original Amazon screen. On the new one uh, that some people are getting pushes to update today, settings is up here and you'll want to click there and then you'll have the same looking screen. Um, mine has not asked me to update yet and I kind of like it this way so I'm just leaving it as it is for now. Um, but anyways, go to settings. Um, and then scroll over to where it says applications and click on that. Then go down to manage installed applications and then find Cody on this list. Click on it. Then go to force stop and click on that. And then go down to the bottom and click on clear cache. Now you can scroll back up to the top of the list and launch application to open it back up. And hopefully now it's going to behave and you won't have any more problems. Um, however, sometimes they push um, updates like Exodus just did and then they have bugs in those updates. Um, and then you have to kind of just be patient, wait for them to push a new update and fix the problems, you know. Um, but they're constantly working on them. They're always changing. Um, sometimes they pull the servers down whenever they're working on them. So things may not work for a while. Um, live TV links may not work or maybe um, certain movies or TV shows may not work for a little while while they're working on them. So you just have to kind of be patient sometimes. Um, if your, your basic troubleshooting techniques like restarting your router and modem, uh, re, uh, clearing the cache like we just did, and things like that don't work. Sometimes patience is just, you know, the, the only other option. Um, but while we're here, I'm going to tell you just a couple more things not to do um, in here because then you really will have problems. Um, go over, if you go into your add-ons, your program add-ons, you're going to see something in here called Fresh Start. Um, that, what it does is it pretty much erases all the add-ons off your Kodi and turns it back into a bare media player with nothing on it. So, you know, it might sound nice, oh, let's, you know, click that and restore to default settings. That might sound really nice, but no. Don't do that unless you want to wipe everything off of it. Um, the other thing not to do is in the home screen, when you go down to settings, when you go over to system, at the bottom there's reset to factory defaults. Never reset to factory defaults because then you're going to not have, it won't be jailbroken anymore, you won't have Kodi anymore, you won't have any of your add-ons anymore. Sometimes I do need to go to restart, and I'll click that and, uh, you know, kind of freshen up the whole stick, and sometimes it will behave better for me if I restart it. Um, the other thing that these fire sticks are known for is overheating. Um, especially in the summertime, people seem to have more problems if their house is hot with overheating fire sticks. So sometimes if you just turn it off, let it cool down, or keep a fan pointed at it, it'll cool off and um, you know work a little bit more smoothly. Um, but I hope that that solves the majority of your problems. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, and thanks for watching.